I was doing the story time vid. Um, it's been a while since I made my last story time, which is actually about my first attention. And um, yeah, so it's kind of like a continuation, like a part two to it, because a lot of things happen in that detention room, and who it actually led to a lot of things, and um, I'm excited to tell you guys about it. So yeah, okay. And I'm in Toffee's room right now, so if I like get really distracted, it's because these these hoes are distracting me. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> and they all said hi, but I had to remake this because I suck at uh, recording. Okay. All right, so after I got assigned for detention, which is actually a Saturday, well not Saturday, it was actually a school day after school. <sighs> okay, um, there was like this desk area where uh, people, like students who get detention go to, and I was assigned to go there after school ended. And um, of course my whole family knew about it because, well, duh, obviously. But it was kind of like something that never happened in my life before so it was really really awkward and i didn't know what to do the whole time so i just did my homework and there was this one guy there okay mind you i did not know who this guy was i had no idea who this guy was and so i didn't even talk to him i didn't even look at him i didn't even breathe the same air as he did okay i was still so far away from him and um basically that was like how it went for almost an hour and so, um, I'm trying to remember everything right now, sorry. Okay, and after that, I think a couple weeks or months passed by. And I think this was during summer vacation, so he actually moved. The guy that I mentioned earlier, he actually moved to a different state. I don't know where he went, but he actually, like, moved away from Pennsylvania, where I live and where we live together. Well, not together like that, but, like, together, <laughs> where we both live. And, um, so, I, uh, was one day just hanging out with my friend, and out of nowhere, I get a message, or, like, kind of, like, a DM from Instagram, and he messaged me saying, hey, cutie, and, like, I, at first, I couldn't recognize him, like, I didn't know who he was, and then I realized, it's the same dude that was in, in like in the detention room with me. So I got really confused. So I didn't know what he wanted. So I just kind of went, hey. And he didn't know that I was the girl that was in detention. And let me just tell you something, guys. Back then, I was not popping, okay? I was not popping. I looked like an ant. I did not look cute at all. Zero cuteness in me whatsoever. I was not cute. I was not popping. I was busted pretty much okay i was not good looking and the thing is is that like i could care less about that fact like i i didn't even care back then like i didn't even care if i was ugly if i dressed terrible if i came in looking like a homeless person i did not care and so at the detention room i was pretty fugly okay and that's probably what he remembers of me but i'll mention that a little bit later in the story because we're not at that part yet do my boobs still grow? <laughs> Do my boobs still grow? No, honey. They'll still they'll stay flat like mine. Okay. Oh my god, what is this? Cancel. I'm sorry guys. I hate HP support assistant blah 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 blah. Be quiet. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore it. I swear if I you crashes on me, I will kill somebody. Okay, continuing. And uh, so we talked a little bit. I didn't really like this dude, but I kind of faked it. I kind of acted like I liked him because I wanted to know what this guy wanted. And of course, he didn't recognize me because if he did, he probably would have said something earlier. But um, so I was just talking to him and I think a couple weeks went by and I kind of like stopped responding to his messages. Like, I don't know why. I don't remember why I stopped responding to him. But he decided to stalk me on Instagram and comment underneath my picture saying, Hey, hey, text me back, text me back, text me back. I was like, hello, who are you? And then um, we talked again. Okay, so one day I decided to be brave because I obviously look different now. I don't look like how I used to look before. Thank God puberty worked good on me for once, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> but, and, um... I decided to tell him that I was the girl in the detention room that, that one day. And he 
was so freaking rude. Like, I understand I was pretty fugly back then, but you don't need to be rude about it. Like, come on, dude. And he told me, oh, <laughs> after I told him, because he was so into me, you know? And after I told him I was the same girl that it was in the, in the detention room, right? He told me, oh, and he said, okay. I never got a response back. And then he told me this. He said, well, bye. I was like, oh my God, really? He said, like, leave like that. He said, well, bye. And I got confused. I said, well then, okay, dumbass. So I cussed him out and then I just kind of blocked him from my phone. He gave me his number and I, that's where I texted him from. I didn't text him on kick or anything or even like DM'd him or whatever on Instagram. But we actually exchanged numbers and we talked that way. But I totally regret it. I blocked him did everything I could to avoid this guy okay so we go back to school and um, I think like towards the end of the year for some reason he came back like he came back and um, I don't know why like of course I was trying to avoid him because you know what you know guys already know what happened with us and I didn't want to see him because I felt like he was gonna like judge me or bully me or be like talking shit about me to other people so I kind of try to avoid him and that didn't work out very well because like I don't think he recognized me though because I didn't talk to him the whole time he was there and he ended up having first class with me like first period class with me and that was very awkward so I kind of just like turned my face whenever he tried to talk to me so he wouldn't recognize me and um mind you guys again before coming back to school and seeing him again he didn't believe that I was real. Like, he kept thinking that I was a catfish. So he told me to send pictures of myself, like, holding up a sign saying, oh, this is Alex. And he didn't believe me, so I actually did that for him. Um, I was still self-conscious about myself back then, so I didn't really have to take pictures a lot of myself. So I didn't really feel comfortable doing that, but I still did it for him because, like, like I said, I didn't like him that like that, but I kind of... I felt like... I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. Like, I didn't like him, but I kind of did. Like, I felt like I needed to impress him for some reason. That's why um, I decided to do something that I didn't feel really comfortable doing, but I did it anyways for him. Okay, back to going back to school and seeing him again. So, okay, I was friends with this girl. I'm not gonna say her name, but I'll call her... I'll call her Anna, okay? So, Anna was actually my friend. Uh, I have another friend that I'm still friends with her, but we don't really talk a lot anymore, but we always have sleepovers, whatever, whatever. Okay, and um, I'll call her, I'll call her Gabby, okay? Gabby. So, me and Gabby. Gabby and I have been friends since seventh grade, and I was a new girl, of course, so I didn't know anybody, but she was actually the first person that I actually hung out with, and um, I just realized that I, well actually I'm gonna save this for another story time because something else happened in seventh grade that I didn't really um, talk about yet, so I'm gonna be talking about that in another story time video, okay? Um, so yeah, forget what I just said. Okay, um, so Anna, not Anna, Gabby and I were friends, and um, we we're like best friends, and so Anna came along and she was a new girl, she was so sweet. She was the sweetest girl ever. I was having a sleepover with Gabby, and she, her, Gabby's mom, her mom, her, her dad actually, because her parents are divorced, actually said for us to go to uh, Anna's house. And so we decided to do that because Anna was new, and of course her dad wanted us to be friends with her because she was lonely. And we were, we were doing just that. We were being really good friends towards her. Like We were being really nice to her. And for some whatever reason, she decided to back out on us and started being rude to us for no reason. Again, sorry guys, my mom's calling me. I'll be right back. Okay, back. All right, so um, I didn't like the way that Anna was treating Gabby and I, so we kind of distanced ourselves from her. Gabby had... Yeah, Gabby, sorry. I'm, I'm getting confused with the names because like, it's kind of weird saying different names to people I know that I know the real names of. Like, it's kind of weird, like it's awkward, but I'll try my best to do this without getting my tongue twisted or whatever. Okay, so <laughs> Gabby had a boyfriend. I'll call him, I'll call him 
uh, Cody, okay? <laughs> All these names, though. I'm like, okay, so I'll call him Cody. Cody was actually, wait, you know what, I'll be right back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write down all these names. Okay, so I have it all written down so I won't forget the names. They're such good names. Okay, so Gabby had a boyfriend named Cody, and uh, they were together for like three months, I think. And so, okay, Cody was kind of like a player, but this was actually Gabby's very first boyfriend, so she didn't really care about all that stuff. I know, kind of stupid, and kind of like... I don't know, it's like kind of unplanned, like kind of just stupid. Like you should know what's gonna happen if you date a player. But she kind of ignored all the signs. And one day we found out that Anna and Cody were fucking behind Gabby's back. That was very, very uh, surprising because like I said, Anna was actually good friends with us and we didn't expect her to turn all evil out of nowhere. But that happened, and so Gabby was really pissed off, and I was pissed off too because Gabby was my best friend. Like you don't hurt my best friend's feelings, and and uh, yeah. By the way, guys, Faith is my best friend, but Gabby back then was my best my best friend, like my best best friend, like the very first friend I ever had um, at my school at my new school since I moved in. And I was a new student, but like Gabby and I aren't really that close anymore, so I don't really consider her my best friend anymore. So yeah because you guys are confused like who's your best friend it's actually faith okay so back to what i was saying okay so i only have like i'm already at 11 minutes i need to really hurry up with the story but it's not that long so let me just yeah okay <laughs> all right so um gabby was really angry of course i was angry too and so we kind of just like stopped talking to anna and stopped talking to cody and then uh Anna was very rude to me like she would spread rumors about me saying that I was fake whatever that means like how am I fake like I'm obviously here right in front of you how am I fake and um Cody Cody and Anna actually broke up Anna kind of still likes Cody to this day she still likes Cody I don't know why but because because like Cody is not anything special to me like he's just like a regular guy okay he's nothing special he's not fabulous he's not shining okay he's not those freaking 100 dollars glittering highlights that you get at mac okay he is actually one of those pale nude lipsticks that just look stupid okay those fake chapsticks you get at the pharmacy okay he's kind of like that okay i know i'm comparing people to makeup <laughs> products but I am so random, guys. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, Anna started dating the guy that I met at the detention room. Like, the guy who stopped talking to me because he thought I was ugly back then, because I was. I was not popping, like I said again, okay? And, um, I started dating, and they still dated. Like, I see them every single time like, at school. Um, I saw them. And Anna still likes Cody, and Cody and Anna do not talk anymore. I think Cody kind of like pushed her out of his life. Like he started going on to more different girls at, at our school. And um, I see him flirting all, all the time with different girls at our school. Like he's always holding people's hands, hugging girls, kissing someone's cheek. I don't know. He doesn't even know these girls too. Like I said, player. And um. So Anna still likes him, I found out. Anna still talks about me. Like, okay, Gabby and I had this period where we didn't talk for a very long time. Like, we got into an argument um, because she kind of changed too, but I won't get into too much detail about that because she has changed for the better now. She doesn't act like that anymore, so I don't want really to talk about it again because it's already happened, it's done, and we should move on to the future now. Okay, so... Sorry, it's too much. Okay, and... um. So, Anna asked me one day in the bathroom, I was just, you know, fixing my hair, doing all the girly stuff, and Gabby, and she talked, Gabby brought, was brought into the conversation, like, Anna told, asked me if Gabby and I were still friends, and yeah, pretty much that's it. And, um, I don't know guys, it was really weird, like, it happened, it was started off from this guy that I met at detention, from him going on to Anna, Anna doing all this crap behind uh, Gabby's back. And the thing is, is that also, I don't want to call anyone a slut because it's kind of not that nice, but Anna is kind of a slut. She sent nudes to random people at her school and all that detail stuff, and I'll mention it all next time. 
but yeah okay i hope you guys like the story time and i uh love you guys so much this is a really unexpected video but i still made it for you guys okay i'll see you guys all sometime this week all right bye I'm at an all time <laughs> <laughs>